Yo, what's going on guys? Hennis here, and today what you're going to be watching is one of the most difficult gameplays to get in the history of the Call of Duty franchise. This is a 70 kill TDM gameplay. To be more specific, it's a 70 to 5 TDM gameplay by Carnage Dismo. He's playing TDM here on the map Skydock using the NV4, and his class setup will be here up on screen if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. Now, if you guys don't know, this is actually the name of a specific challenge here in the Call of Duty franchise, and it's called the 70 kill TDM challenge, and it was proposed by Optic Scumpy, I believe, back in advanced warfare when TDM lobbies were updated to be a maximum of 100 kills per team. And the idea is to hop into a game of TDM solo and drop 70 kills all by yourself. So without any assistance from your teammates, without being in a party, you had to be 100% solo. And this is incredibly difficult to do because obviously 70 kills is more than two thirds of the kills your team needs to get as a whole within the lobby. So you have to rely on the fact that your teammates are going to be absolute garbage and the enemy players are going to be absolute garbage as well. Literally everything has to go perfectly for you. Usually you'll see players cycle through at least three sets of lethal streaks in gameplays like this, which I just think is absolutely phenomenal. There, now, there's a couple more things about this gameplay that make it even more impressive in my opinion. First of all, he's playing on the map Skydock. Now, playing on the map Skydock is a little bit difficult because this map really has a lot of weird places that players can hide, a lot of really, you know, open areas, especially where there's a lot of viewpoints from a lot of different angles. So you can be in one position on this map but be able to be seen from like eight different positions, which makes it incredibly difficult to stay alive. And especially when he's playing hardcore, which is the second thing that makes it a lot easier to kill people, but it also makes it a lot easier for you to die as well. So just overall, a phenomenal gameplay by Dismo. If you guys want to go ahead and check out his channel, his link will be the first one down there in the description below. I believe as of today, he just hit 14,000 subscribers. So definitely someone who's going to be grinding infinite warfare literally throughout the rest of this life cycle. He's posting amazing Call of Duty content. Definitely someone you guys want to check out. He's been live streaming a lot as well, but he's an incredibly talented guy, really entertaining to watch. So make sure you go ahead and check him out. And if you guys enjoy the commentary for whatever reason, make sure you come check out my channel as well. My link will be down there in the description below. I'm on that road to 18,000 subscribers and I have a little piece of support. It does, of course, as always mean the world to me. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and jump right into today's commentary topic. So what I want to go ahead and talk to you guys about today after that incredibly fast intro, and I apologize for that, is something that's going to make our lives a hell of a lot easier. Some of you guys may already know about this product, but it actually is by Amazon. Now, I want to quickly talk about Amazon's Alexa, I believe is what it's called. If you guys don't know, it's a little personal assistant, this little sort of cylinder cone-shaped thing that sits in your house, and you can address it by saying, hey, Alexa, followed by a command or a question, and then Alexa can go ahead and do that for you, which is incredibly cool. Now, my cousin got one for Christmas, and when I went over to his house and I tried it out, I actually really wasn't that impressed with the AI within Alexa itself. And it really got me thinking about how well it compares to my dad's Android phone and Siri on my iPhone. And it just really goes to show that AI is a pretty difficult field to sort of jump into. But the idea behind Alexa is just to make your life easier, right? It's just to, you know, allow you to have less human interaction, essentially, by getting more things done. So essentially, you can place orders because it's an Amazon product. You can ask it to tell you the time, ask her how long it's going to take you to get to work, just all of these little, little nuances that can give you instantaneous information without really having to go and look it up yourself. So it's a pretty much an ease of use product, something that's going to make your life a little bit more tolerable and a little bit easier, it allows you to be a little bit more lazy. Well, Amazon just introduced a brand new product called the Amazon Dash Button. And essentially, it's a button that you can leave around your house and you can program each of these buttons to purchase different things. So for example, laundry detergent, more paper towels, or anything like Nerf bullets, anything like that. You can program it to purchase anything you want or even candy and just put it around your home. And when you press that button, it automatically makes a purchase of that product. So let's say you leave this button right next to your laundry machine and every time you need more detergent, you press the button, boom, the order is automatically made. You didn't even have to go onto your computer or go onto your phone and order it manually and have it arrive one or two days later. You literally just had to press a button. So this just goes to show how much humans in society, especially in the United States with our capitalism and our consumerism, really appreciate that instant gratification. And it's just such an interesting thing that you know society as a whole really pushes for the advancement of these products. I find it incredibly fascinating to see products like this continue to advance at the expense of human communication, you know, sort of raw human interaction. I'd love to know what you guys think about this, though, down there in the comment section below. It's a pretty interesting product. I'm probably going to try to get one for myself if they are available anytime soon. I believe they're invite only as of right now, but if they are available in the future, I'll be sure to get my hands on one. But anyways, guys, hopefully you all did enjoy today's commentary. And if you guys did, a like rating, of course, would be very much appreciated. Let's shoot for like 500 likes on this video. If we could hit that, that would be awesome. Make sure you guys go ahead and check out Carnage Dismo channel and my channel if you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. So next time, everybody, keep gaming. And as always, stay cool. Adios.